Okay, so what I've done is I bought two of these. They do not supply any type of parts for this um, 3D printer. That was like the number one comment that I kept seeing repeated over and over and over again was, you know, where do we get parts at for it? Um, and a lot of people that replied to those comments was telling them that they could buy other manufacturers um, and put parts in there or you know you could just shave it down or cut it a little and it'll fit inside I mean a bunch of and then there was people that actually made like aftermarket parts for it and stuff so what I did is I went out and bought a brand new one of these uh, R3D mini printer from Amazon and then I went on eBay and found somebody that had a, a used one so what I'm gonna do is the brand new one that's coming is the one that we're going to use this one we'll use for parts but I also thought maybe I should try to get it going as well so I think what we'll do is we'll do a couple videos and we'll see if maybe we can't get this thing going if we conclude that we cannot get it going then we'll keep it for why I initially bought it and that was for parts open it it's, um, it looks like inside here is the door it looks like there's actually something inside here like a box and stuff how do I uh, how do I get it out of there the bed is uh, holding it down oh well Can manually uh, turn the corkscrew and raise the bed. There we go. All right, so uh, that looks like the front piece. And, you know, I thought I saw it come with the front piece. So front piece, that's kind of cool up there oh sweet there's the top excellent excellent and then here is an accessory box um, has some accessories in it instruction manual power cord uh, looks like there's an extruder in there and some kind of other little spare parts Another bed, that's cool. Uh, there's like some, some metal brackets in here of uh, some kind and some screws and a USB reader. All right, so this is one of the reasons why I bought this. So that way I would have all this spare stuff. And like I said, if, if, if we could, it'd be cool if we could get this one running. Uh, Shall we plug it in and see what happens? And then I guess this front panel mounts like that. I bet that's what that hardware is. It's the hinges. Whoa! And uh, that's why I want spares. Okay, so the spool is inside here. You got like a, a feeder tube. This is cool. All this lights up. You got a digital touch screen down here. Check out the power button. Oh no, that's the light button. Turns the lights on and off, so that's cool. So like if you were running this in your room and you didn't want that light to like be in your room because you're trying to sleep, that makes sense. That's cool that you can shut it off. The, uh, the fans and stuff inside. All the motors, the wiring. This is awesome. I want at least two or three of these things. Nice tool. Back. I don't have any filament, so I can't exactly test it. Let's see, let's take a look inside. Uh, I guess this is how you adjust the bed. Cool. 
there's like the main ordeal right there that's like the uh the extruder and then you got the fans and stuff to keep it cool so i guess one fan runs and then when it gets hot the second fan will kick in this is really cool here here's a uh Here is a top view of everything. That's cool. See, I don't know what's missing out of here. It all looks complete to me. It looks assembled. It looks like the fan bodies were 3D printed for this thing. That's pretty cool. They probably did 3D print their own fan. See, the reason why I wanted a 3D printer is so I can make things like this this plastic thing, or I can make arms for my RC car, or I can make special little brackets that I need for when I build water cooling computers and stuff. That's exactly why I want this. Huh, oh, it's like Velcro. I guess there's a tube here. I don't know where it goes, it just, it just stops right there and runs all the way down. I guess that runs out and goes into that hole there that's what i'm assuming i'm assuming that it it feeds up through the white tube the white tube comes out here and then runs down inside of the uh the tool there looks like there's some kind of switch right here see that there's a, a switch i don't know what it does well awesome guys I can't wait until we get the new one in but I wanted to show you all this I was going to not do that I was going to surprise you guys what's underneath it nothing Let's see what's on the back side nothing just power cord and power switch that's cool if you guys uh haven't seen this video yet I just released this video today the Antec uh, first look at the case and stuff you guys might want to check that video out and then uh, here in a couple of days probably about three or four days that that video is out I'll release this video but I hope you guys like it make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new thank you for watching and uh, I'm excited about this this is gonna be really cool